Okay, in this video, we're going to calculate income elasticity. Income elasticity is simply the percent change in the quantity demanded of the good divided by the percent change in income. So let's calculate the percent change in the quantity demanded. Well, we can see that the change is negative 26 because we're actually consuming 26 fewer noodles than before divided by the original consumption of noodles, which is 52, and then multiply that times 100%. And what do you get? Negative 50%. All right, so that's the percent change in the quantity demanded. Now we need to know what is the percent change in income? Well, that's simply the change in the income, which is $5,000, divided by the original income, which was $25,000, Multiply that times 100%. And of course, 5,000 over 25,000 is one fifth. A fifth times 100 is 20%. Now, remember, I said that the income elasticity is the percent change in the quantity demanded, that first number that we calculated, divided by the 20%. So the income elasticity is simply equal to negative 50% divided by 20%. And of course, that is equal to negative 2.5. Now, what's the interpretation of that number? The interpretation, first of all, of the negative sign is that it is an inferior good. Whenever the income and the consumption of the good move in opposite directions, you can be sure it's an inferior good because normal goods behave differently. Consumption and income move in the same direction. And of course, the interpretation of the number 2.5, you take the absolute value sign of that. That's certainly greater than 1, and that means this is an income elastic good. In any event, the main lesson to draw from it is that it's an inferior good, and this is how you calculate income, elast income elasticity. Um, so until next time, take care and best wishes.